observed to be taking place in UN and NATO countries. Funny about that. Weather modification technology has been around since the 60s. Tests have been performed across countries that have been observed and patents matching the same elements have been found in water and soil at alarming rates. Governments have only admitted to these programs on an experimental scale, but it's clear if you look up, this is occurring regularly without consent. Geoengineering is extremely detrimental to every living system in the environment. If you look around, you will notice trees look chemically burnt and many marine, marine life are dying off, occurring worldwide. They are not isolated incidents, as the media would have you believe. The particulates are absorbed through the lining of the lungs, and since these programs have been observed over the last decade, respiratory mortality rates have gone from an 8 to 3 on the mortality list. Many of you are already aware of Monsanto's clear goal of controlling the world's food supply. So what does the world's leading biotech company do when organic crops won't grow in the metallic laden soils from geoengineering? It profits. Monsanto has patented an aluminium resistant gene which they have incorporated into every crop possible because these seeds will be the only seeds able to, to withstand the damage of geoengineering. A few people are aware of what's happening and it is our responsibility to ensure that we educate ourselves and share this knowledge on geoengineering before it's too late. 
In Adelaide, the official group is South Australians Against Chemtrails. There is also South Australians Against Geoengineering. Please visit us on Facebook. For more info, head to geoengineering.org. Thank you for your time, guys. If anyone else wants to speak, feel free. Hi, my name's Penny, and I've come to you today as a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. In our schools in South Australia, we have an epidemic of cover-ups. These cover-ups need to stop. All cyber pedophiles and pedophiles need to be held to account, and those who have kept it quiet also need to be held to account, for they are just as guilty. We need our children. Please stand up, make your voices heard. Every time that you hear or see the government, the education department, the police, child protection, they are all involved. It's time that every Australian stood up for the next gen. Thank you. <laughs> My name's Emmanuel. Um, I'm a representative of the Global Eco Village Network. Um, this is a network of community that spans worldwide, um, has over 230 members all around the globe. And part of the message I feel like is uh, what we're all saying here is that we're fed up with the system, we're fed up with the way things are, and we have a desire for change. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that it's important to dream beyond just uh, the I mean, the necessary changes within our system, but also to dream about a better and brighter future. And I think that entails a return to community and dreaming beyond the system that we have at the moment. I feel like there is a fundamental need for a shift in consciousness within us all. And yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Keep the dream alive. Hey guys, knowledge is our biggest tool. And what that woman said just really, it's just, we can't let this go on anymore. And you guys, we can learn to stop that. We are anonymous, we are online. We can stop the child pornography rings. We can stop that at its source. We, yeah. we know how to yeah. do it, we all know how to do it. Get on there, don't let it happen. Let it stop. We are all victims if we let it happen. You are all letting it happen if you do not act. And we have the power. Knowledge is our greatest tool. Let it, just use it. We have to get online. We are the internet. We can make it. It is a tool that we can use to destroy them because that's where they're controlling us. We need to take it over. We need to stop it from happening, guys. We can brothers and sisters know about the cause and, you know, awaken them, so to speak, and um, keep radiating that love and harmonising them. Every seed we plant, we will grow. Every car that drives past us today, every person that you have seen or given a uh, pamphlet to, will take something from that. And whether it affects them today, tomorrow, next week, or further down the track when they see more things happening, they will start to understand why we're here today, why we'll be here next year, and why we'll keep on hammering at these politicians and all the other elite 
elitists that have evolved until they turn around and start giving everything back. We can't let them go on and, as everyone said, this all has to stop. There's not much more anyone can say that hasn't been said already. Um, I will say one more thing though, keep your eye out for independent politicians under the Australian Alliance banner in the state yeah. elections next year. Yeah. Because they're the ones that are going to turn, turn things on us. How you going guys? Yeah, I'm not sweet, I'm not a very good talker. But I just like to you know, remind everyone here that the equalities, freedom, fairness and justice aren't just words that our government can wave in front of us and do whatever they like whatever they like with it, but they are also perspectives that each and every one of us, including the people that aren't aware, that all live by. And once we remind them of that, we will all be united in the city single power and we'll keep our strength through growth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give a crack too. Um, how many <laughs> people know that 90% uh, of all our banks are owned by factory shareholders? So we're also aware that they owe 90% of our fuel and energy companies. Yeah. All right. Who also knows that they're running our magistrate court in Circo? Magistrate court's not being operated under common law anymore. Common law is what we are bound by. The problem is if you don't know who you are and if you don't have the knowledge of who you are, you've got no charge. You're under statutory law. You're a government employee. Who also knows that Commonwealth of Australia is also registered on the Securities and Exchange Commission as a corporation. Okay, so that's a little bit less than. Australian government operates under corporation laws. They really do. You've got to do this research for yourself. Under the Constitution, we have the sole shareholders and the directors of our own person. Legal person, natural person. Now, when we go to court, the judge convinces us that we are the public trustees. Under trust law, you can only be a director and a sole shareholder. You can't be a trustee as well. So the judge is convincing you that you're a public trustee and he, in fact, has the power. The magistrate's court is a court of hearing. You're not supposed to decide anything under common law. You have your right to do whatever you want under the Constitution providing you do no harm. They are the three words. They've taken over our legal system, they've taken over our banking system, they've taken over our energy systems. They're not letting us look into free energy, we're not doing research into free energy, anything is squashed. We call conspiracy theorists. A conspiracy theorist is someone that jumps to conclusions. Conspiracy researchers are people that see the smoke and investigate. Yeah! Knowledge is power. <laughs> everybody here today for actually taking the time out to come in here to pay to be here. All right. When we yeah. first had this idea of the million last March, we weren't too sure how it was going to work out. Uh, I'm a bit of a pessimist, so my <laughs> expectations were high, but the reality of what I thought we were going to get was quite low, but you guys have all taken that to a new level by being here today. So from me to all you guys, thank you very much for taking time out of your Melbourne Cup day to be here today. Yeah. Now, when we talk about the world, world events and all that stuff, I could literally be here for the next couple of hours just ranting about it, okay? <laughs> the fact that we've been controlled by religion throughout the uh, centuries, the fact that they lied to us, that they made us scared of something that in all reality probably doesn't even exist. And if it did, if it's going to punish you for thinking by yourself, then what's the p point of worshipping it in the first place? <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm sick of banks. Yeah. Banks. Yes. Get under my skin, in a friendly way of saying it, okay? I'm absolutely sick that these people have jobs where they lend money to people that they know can't pay it back. But yet they still lend the money to you. And then when you can't pay it back, what do they do? They come and take everything that you've bought with that money that they gave you, that they knew that you couldn't pay 
back and they take everything off you. They're there to rob you, they're not there to help you. You see these Commonwealth bait ads on TV every 30 seconds all the time. Come in and see us, nice friendly lady standing at the counter, beautiful $10,000 smile on her face. Come in, borrow some money off us, we'll look after you. Until the repayments stop. And then once the repayments stop, they come and take everything you've got. Now on top of that, you've got to look at money. Money itself in general. What is money? Nothing! That's right, it's bullshit is what money is. Especially today. It's not linked to any form of commodity. All it is is a fiat currency. A currency that is literally tinted on a piece of plastic. What gives that its worth? Monopoly! What people put on it? It's not worth anything. It's a piece of plastic. If the banks went down tomorrow and you had a house full of plastic, do you know how much that would be worth? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we're here. We're slaving five days a week out of seven days in a week. As far as we know, we've got one life and we're here once. Yet we dedicate five of them seven days a week that we're alive to somebody else to do a job for somebody else who pays us coins that we go back and spend on another product that's made from another company. We're just reinvesting the money back into the people that are giving us the money. And we're not getting any richer from it. We're not getting any better off. But the world isn't changing for the good. It's changing for the bad because of money. Because we work for these people that then use the profits to go and monopolise, to go and globalise. They use wars to go over to other countries and bomb other countries. Why? Because of terrorism? Bullshit terrorism. What a load of garbage. And for all the people that are against the asylum seekers, I'll tell you how to stop asylum seekers. Stop bombing their countries. to take away its traditional forms of export. They go then over, they take over, they reinstate something of their own, that their own corporations own. They run the country like that. And that's why we go around bombing countries all the time. It's not to help them, it's for our own personal needs and greeds. That's all it's about. If I can go and bomb your country, destroy every industry in your country, then bring some of my friends in that can control that industry and take it over, then it's to my benefit, not your benefit. Yeah. So I'm probably going to wind this up because, like I said, I could go for a very long time on a lot of this stuff. All right, but bottom line is... I'm not a fan of money, I'm not a fan of banking, I'm not a fan of politics, I'm not a fan of government, I'm not a fan of repressive laws, I'm not a fan of covering shit up all the time, I'm not a fan of zero transparency, I'm not a fan of running around and doing somebody else over so it's all good in my own pocket. You know, I'm not a fan of any of that and that's the world that we're living in today. So hopefully together, from here on in, I see everybody in the crowds here, we can kind of make this work again maybe next year or sometime closer in the future. But once again, you guys are awesome. Thanks for being here and thank you for listening to my rant. Yeah! We only have two things to say. Screw the new world order. And screw the Illuminati. Yeah! We are anonymous. Howdy everyone. Well, I thought I had to say something. I've watched everyone have a little speech and I'm uh, pretty proud of everyone. This is awesome. But we all know we have a tyrannical government at play here. One of the biggest concerns is the new world order that they're trying to go forward to. The main way they're doing this, which they've introduced, is the UN Agenda 21. Now we've signed on to that. We are going to be a part of the UN Agenda 21. When that happens, all of our resources, everything to do with energy, including you, because we're included as energy in their testimonies, their write-outs. Agenda 21 needs to be stopped, and that is a very important thing for everyone to research. Is that, that, that is the step to the New World Order, is the Agenda 21. So whatever you can do, inform people and research this. You have to do it. Thank you.
around the world. There is over 300 locations and I just would like a bit of a silence for them and a prayer for them um, so to keep them safe and to keep them um, keep going, you know. We are anonymous, we are legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget. Expect us! Expect us. <laughs> I'm just going to play a recent anonymous broadcast for YouTube. We are Anonymous Australia, and today we would like to speak to you about Campbell Newman's push for the new anti-bitey laws, which could likely spread Australia wide. According to the document, known as the Vicious Lawless Association Disestablishment Bill 2013, the purpose of this unconstitutional bill is for the disestablishing of lawless associations. The alleged objects of the act goes as follows. A disestablish associations that encourage, foster or support persons who commit offences. b. Increase public safety and security by the disestablishment of the associations. and c. Deny to persons who commit serious offences the assistance and support gained from association with other persons who participate in the affairs of the associations. In this act, association means any of the following. A. A corporation. B. An unincorporated association. C. A club or league. D. Any other group of three or more persons by whatever name called, whether associated formally or informally and whether the group is legal or illegal. What this basically means is, no matter who you are or what you do, by knowing, condoning or associating with any person or persons who are committing crimes, or just by being in the wrong place at the wrong time, you could be jailed for up to 15 years, facing a mandatory minimum of 6 months. The laws are so stringent, even fictional bikies face being outlawed. A man was harshly questioned and almost arrested at a legal protest for wearing a Sons of Anarchy t-shirt, which is a television show. In another case, a man was denied bail for wearing a rebel's belt buckle. There have been cases where normal people on motorbikes have been harassed, searched and investigated for doing nothing more than riding a motorcycle. The creeping fascism has already begun, and the bill is already being used against everyday people like you and me. Campbell Newman has said that police officers who do not utilize this bill to the fullest will be fired. 
for those of you who truly believe this is going to be used against criminal bikey gangs and only bikey gangs, I would urge you to think again and do some research into the document. This is what happens when governments pass laws that make people liable, not for what they have done but for who they associate with. Innocent people get hurt. Premier Campbell Newman has gone too far. It breaches on our very human rights, liberties and our Australian constitution. In the name of community safety, the new legislation makes very large and serious incursions into fundamental human rights, including the right to be free from arbitrary detention, the right to a fair trial before an independent judge, and the right to free speech and association. Australia's constitution does not contain a comprehensive bill of rights. In practice, this means that the courts have limited tools with which to scrutinize legislation that intrudes on individual liberties. Campbell Newman's bill has come with a slew of propaganda, suggesting normal people won't be targeted. But along with his broken election promises, this is not the first time he has lied. These laws make no mention whatsoever of bikies. They apply to any association. Laws which make it a criminal offence to be a member of an organisation or to associate with members of an organisation violate fundamental rights to freedom of association and freedom of speech. There is nothing criminal about being in a group or in association with a group. This is a direct attack on our rights. We will not tolerate it. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Campbell Newman, expect us. Just another quick thing, guys. Um, this is gonna. We want this as peaceful as everything. So if there is any. Um, Abuse bonus, anything like that, just record it. Don't don't give them uh, ammunition. Um, we just want to keep it as peaceful as we can uh, for the kids' sakes and for the world. As we are peaceful, we are not uh, criminals. Terrorists. We are not terrorists. We are just people that believe that we've got to you know, stick up for ourselves. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I'm not good with speaking, so. I think I'll leave that to about that and we're going to be starting our march. So. <laughs>